Welcome back to my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial series. My name is Brawl Battle, and in this episode, we'll be discussing about data types. Data types is another one of those important fundamentals when it comes to being a Roblox scripter or just a programmer in general. It's a very important lesson for you to know about. So what are data types? The best way I can describe data types is that when you're programming in Roblox Studio and you're trying to create scripts that utilize different types of data, the context of which you handle data not all of them are gonna be the same because if they all were the same type, then it would just unnecessarily make the, the development process harder and more confusing. When you're working with data, like let's say for example, uh, <clears throat> we, select, we select one of my parts here, we can see that there are all these different properties here. Like you have brick color, cast shadow color, material, uh, transparency. These are the names of different properties of whatever object I've selected here, which is a part. Now on the right side, each one of them have values. And these values are tied to one of the many different types of data types that Roblox has. So for this one, brick color is like a, it's a color inside of this color wheel here called a brick color, but uh, I'll discuss that in another time. And then we have a check mark here that basically is either that you basically either turn on or off. This is called a Boolean value. Uh, and then we have other things here like transparency that's tied to a number value from zero to one. So as you can see, not all of these properties have the same data type. For brick color, it's a brick color. And for transparency, it's a number. And for cast shadow, it's it's a check mark. So clearly not all of these properties use the same data. And the same thing applies here whenever we're programming in Roblox Studio, is that when you're working with data, not all the data is gonna be exactly the same. So that's why you have to be able to understand and distinguish between these different types of data. So I'm gonna go through three very important fundamental ones for you to know about. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our script that we developed in the last episode. I, I hope you wrote a good story or a good poem. Uh, I just like kept my print statements to be the same thing. So what we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna drop a few lines down here. We're going to start with our good old print statement, just like uh, how we wrote it up here. So you write down print in all lowercase, and then you do shift nine for the open parenthesis, and then Roblox will automatically put the close parenthesis. And then in here, uh, we're actually not going to do the double quotations. I will explain why in just a little bit. But now that we're here inside of our print statement, this is a great way for me to show you the different types of data that you need to know about if you're a Roblox developer. So the first type is a Boolean value. Now that might sound kind of weird, like you probably never heard of a Boolean before. So what a Boolean value is, is that when when you're dealing with data that can only be one thing or the other. So for, for example, if I'm working with a factual statement that's either true or false, then it can only tie into one of those two values. The value can be either true or it could be false. It's only one of the two and nothing else. So, and so, some examples include like, like the statement, Roblox was officially released in the year 2006. That is a true statement. That's not a false statement. That's a true statement. But then if I were to say like, <laughs> Brawl Battle is a YouTube channel with 2 million subscribers, we obviously know that's not a true statement. That's false. So, so with that same logic, a Boolean type, just imagine it, just remember it as a data type that can only fall into two values, either true or false. And I'm about to show you uh, what they look like. So inside of a print statement, uh, usually what I taught you is that we would use the double quotations, but this time we're not gonna do that because the double quotations falls into a specific kind of data type that I will explain to you in a little bit. So in this print statement, we're still gonna have the open and close parentheses, but this time we're just gonna type in all lowercase, true. So what's gonna happen here is that this is one of the two data types of a Boolean, which is true. And if we drop a line and then write another print statement, and then this time we type false with no uh, double quotations because this is just a Boolean value. So it's, it's either true or it's either false. So if we go back into our game and then hit play, uh, we should see that the output prints true and false. Yeah, so down here at the very bottom, it printed true and it also printed false. So that's that's what, we, that's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see that in our print statement, we can print one of the two values of a Boolean, which is either true or it's either false. 
So that's, so that's like what I wanted you to really know about. So let's drop a few lines again. And now the next data type that I'll teach you is a number. Now, just from the name itself, you could probably guess what it is. It's a number. <laughs> Um, like if you, if you, if you've learned about numbers at school, then, you know, a number is a number. It is what it is. Like a number can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like just any numerical value you can think of. That's basically what a number is. Uh, you can even put a decimal number as well by pressing dot and then putting like whatever value you want. So that's essentially what a number is. It's basically just like a numerical value that you're dealing with. So numbers are kind of indefinite uh in in roblox studio standards um you know compared to a boolean value which can either be one of two things true or false a number can be indefinite because there's so many number possibilities you can choose from so numbers are actually pretty powerful like you can utilize a lot with just numbers it's useful to keep track of certain things like I don't know, the currency in your game, some points that you have in your game, or how long you've been playing the game for, things like that. That like obviously when you're dealing with numbers, then um then it's basically just how you deal with numbers in real life. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. So now the final value that we're going to be discussing about that's very important, and the first one we actually dealt with in our last video is a string. Now it's basically just a set of characters from like the English alphabet that you could just type in and that whole line will be your string. So from, from what we can see up here in our last video, we made a print statement and then we distinguished strings from any other kind of value by putting these double quotations. Now, what you can do is if we write a print statement down here, we can write the same message again by doing the double quotations and then writing hello. So this is what we did last time. This is a string because it's a set of characters that make up uh, one string, one line of, of a combination of characters. Now, if we drop a line down here, there's actually two ways of distinguishing a string. One of them is through double quotations and the other one is just by single quotations like this. So, so um, a string can be distinguished either from double quotations or a single quotation like this. And we can write the same message and it's pretty much going to output the same exact thing because both of these are strings in a sense. So these are the three, I'd say, most important data types to know about, at least for right now, as we move on to other different types of data in the future. So that's pretty much the basics of data types in this episode. Uh, for the learning objective before you watch the next video is what I want you to do is I want you to write more print statements down here and just mess around with, with more strings more data types and utilize different kinds of numbers. Like uh, I didn't put down um, decimal values here. So you could probably just mess with that and get a feel for, uh, for printing out different types of data other than just one kind of data like we did in the last video. All right, well, this has been data types. In the next video, we'll be discussing about We'll be discussing about something. I kind of forgot. I need to look back on my, <laughs> I need to look back on my roadmap again, but for the time being, I want you to mess with these different types of data types and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.